So I hope that does give you some sense of the scope of what we've accomplished in the last 50 years. I must say, um, we're not quite as telegenic as uh, Dr. Richard Besser, who's with us today, uh, ABC TV's uh, chief uh, health and, and medical editor, and we thank him for the narration of the, uh, of the video. Um, but we do want to be good storytellers. We do want to uh, tell the world what has been accomplished and, and what challenges remain. Um, we do have one illustrative story to tell, and this will be done by one of our uh, colleagues, um, a giant in the field of global health and a pillar of the department, uh, my good friend, uh, Matu Santoshim. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. It's a true privilege for me to be here in the presence of co-chair Melinda Gates, President Daniels, Dean Clagg, and all of these distinguished guests and colleagues. I will start by embarrassing Bob, because Bob doesn't uh, talk about himself. He's been a true leader for our department. You've inspired all of us, Bob, and you've been a true visionary for public health. Thank you for all that you've done. Just to give you an example of Bob's vision, in the late 1990s, many of us in this room were working on, on preventing childhood deaths. Bob was one of the first people to point out that although the deaths among children between one month and five years of age is coming down, the deaths among children or babies between one month between zero and one month, what we call newborn babies, remained stagnant for almost 20 years. And Bob took the initiative in 1999, and Gary will remember this, to hold the first international conference on neonatal health here at Johns Hopkins. That conference brought together public health leaders, international organizations, and donors from all over the world. It galvanized the international community to tackle this enormous problem. Not only that, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation very soon made a major investment in neonatal health. Soon, other donors followed. And six years later, this department started the first, interna first international center for advancing newborn health. And I'm delighted to tell you, the founder and the first director of that center is here today with us, Gary Darmstadt. Uh, Gary, would you mind standing up for a minute? I don't want to embarrass Gary too much, but I met Gary as an intern in the Department of Pediatrics 20, 25 years, almost 25 years ago. And I had the opportunity and the pleasure and honor to mentor him and become his friend. And Gary has contributed enormously to neonatal health. I'm very proud of you, Gary, and thanks for all that you've done. <laughs> but my friends, there's been a lot that's been done in the last 10 years. We've come a long way, but there's a long way to go. Every single year, 3.7 million newborns die. By newborns, I mean babies between 1 and 30 days of age. That translates to 10,000 deaths each day. Between now and tomorrow, at the same time, another 10,000 babies will die. We have to stop this, and we have to act now. And I'm really glad that many of you in this room have made a commitment to do this. And many of you may not realize the life of a newborn baby is intimately related to the mother's survival. If a mother dies during, during childbirth, the chances of that child dying goes up sixfold. So this doubly underscores the importance of making sure 
that the, both the mother and the baby survived during childbirth. Unfortunately, today in Africa, if a mother gives birth to a child, her chances of dying is 100 times as high as a mother who was giving childbirth here. This is a true tragedy. Unfortunately, the global health community has not paid enough attention to this particular problem. But not everyone has neglected this problem. Melinda Gates, who is with us today, has been a champion for maternal health. In particular, she's been a champion for safe childbirth. Thanks to you, Melinda, many mothers and poor children around the world have a chance to live today. We are all grateful to you. Thank you very much. Today, in recognition of the importance of protecting both the baby and the mother, we in the Department of International Health are renaming our Center for Newborn Health as the Center, International Center for Maternal and Newborn Health. This center will bring together the enormous expertise of our faculty across this university, and we will partner with major institutions around the world to comprehensively come up with strategies to tackle this dual problem of maternal health and newborn health. We will do everything possible to ensure that every mother and every baby survives. We also want to make sure that every child, every baby, and every mother has the best chance of attaining the best quality of life. I think we owe it to them. I know we can do this. We all work together, and we will do this. I want to end with a quote from the Chilean Nobel laureate, Gabriel Mistral. We are guilty of many errors and many faults, but our worst crime is abandoning the children, neglecting the fountain of life. Many of the things we need can wait. Children cannot. Right now is the time their bones are being formed, their blood is being made, and their senses are being developed. To them, we cannot answer tomorrow. We must answer today. Thank you so much for your commitment to public health. And, and thank you, Matu, for your explanation of the uh, relaunching of